In this video we're going to have a look at some different ways you can use iCard sort in the classroom. So in the first video we did our prime and composite numbers example, but you could do a number of things with numerals. You could do um, multiples, you could do um, different ways to make 10, different ways to group numbers. There's, you know, the possibilities are endless. You just need to make the cards to sort. You could put, you know, in order from the lowest to the highest number. So lots, lots and lots of different opportunities. So there's certainly a place for it in numeracy. There's also lots of ways you could use it in literacy. And what we've got here is a word, um, Klein. So you're asked to sort the words from worshipping through to repulsed and so this is another time when you're better to rather than being grouped to be in order because you know you want them to be in a line from one to the next so you can go through and say well okay I think hate's a bit further down than dislike we might pop it in there and mm, disapprove and not fond of probably need to swap it around and so on you can keep sorting the cards so you can ask students to come up with the words and then you can ask them to sort it Let's look at some more decks. You can do concept sorts, so sorting items by their classification. You can use the notes feature on the notes to do a bit of a guess who. So write the clues on the card and the students have to work it out and say, oh, this is what I think the answer is. Then double tap on the card and then you can see in the notes there's actually the answer. So this is a nice one for those mystery puzzles but also to help review content before a test. Okay, let's have a look. Another way, the place that it can be really useful is in spelling. A lot of people are doing word sorts these days where they're sorting different spelling patterns, different sound patterns. So um, using the group feature and actually going through and sorting the words under each of the spelling patterns is another really handy way to use it and sure beats cutting up lots of little bits of paper. So these are just a few of the ways you could use iCardSort. I'm sure you can come up with lots more.